Marco Dress here from Fair Realty. This is Lesson 2 of a series of educational videos. Lesson 2 discusses listing commission. So let's get right into it. There are two parts to a listing commission. In this example, I'm going to use a $600,000 home and an example commission of 6% in the first $100,000 and 3% on the balance for a total of $21,000. And remember, HST applies to all commissions. This $21,000 commission is typically split between the listing realtor and the buyer's realtor, with $10,500 going to each. On this slide, I have discount listing commissions. In the first example, I have a $6,900 gross listing commission. In this scenario, the realtor listing the property is paying themselves $3,900 and they're offering $3,000 to buyers realtors. In the second scenario we have a discount listing commission where the gross is fourteen thousand four hundred. The listing realtor is paying themselves three thousand nine hundred and offering buyers realtors ten thousand five hundred. So although these two commissions the gross amount varies one sixty nine hundred the other one's fourteen thousand four hundred in the end the listing realtors are asking the exact same amount for their listing services the difference is one realtor is offering a lot more to buyers realtors so commission uh, summary no one can see how much the listing realtor is getting paid and no one frankly cares how much the listing realtor is getting paid the buyers realtor though they can see in the MLS matrix, they can see how much is being offered for that property if they introduce a buyer to that property. Where this comes into play is, uh, if you watched my lesson number one on how buyers find their property, about 37% of the time, the buyer is introduced to a property by their buyer's realtor. And in about 90% of the time, the buyer is represented by a buyer's uh, realtor when purchasing a property. The discrepancy between 90% and 37% occurs because a lot of the time the buyer finds the property uh, online and then calls their buyer's realtor to represent them in that transaction. This is where that uh, cooperating broker commission or the buyer's realtor's commission is very important. And if you're offering a low amount, that might not give a large enough incentive for buyer's realtors to push that property. So in conclusion, the buyer's realtor's commission is far more important than what you're paying the listing agent uh, for, her, her, for his or her part. There's 1,270 realtors in Victoria that can see what is being offered as a buyer's realtor's commission on that property. But on the other side, the listing side, no one can see how much is being, how much the listing realtor is getting paid. So basically, you know, when looking at commissions, you really have to break it down into two parts. How much is the listing realtor charging for his or her services and how much are they offering to buyer's agents to bring buyers to your property? And then I would ask the question is, what is being offered in that listing uh, commission, that 10500 we saw in that example? What is the listing realtor offering for that uh, 10500 You know where the other part is going. The, the buyer's realtor's commission is going to the 1270, is being advertised to 1270 realtors who might have buyers for your property. So that's an easy one to figure out. But where is that listing commission going? Is it going towards marketing? Uh, where does it exactly go and why is it the amount that it is?